started, line up your pen tube with your blank and cut your blank 1 16th to 1 8th inch longer than your kit's pen tube. This will leave room to trim your blank to the exact tube blank. You don't want to cut the tube too short or trim too much off of the barrel. If you cut the blank too short, the refill on your finished pen may not extend correctly and may negatively affect the function of your pen. For more details, review the section titled Preparing the Pen Blank within the Penn State Industries instructions for your particular pen kit project. There are several tools you can use to cross-cut your pen blanks to length. A miter saw, band saw, table saw, or even a hand saw will work. When cross-cutting your pen blanks, you can use jigs or sleds with stops to keep your fingers safely away from the saw blades and allow for consistent pen blank lengths. For instance, our shop-built band saw sled moves a blank into the blade at a perfect right angle. The stop allows us to cut every blank to the exact same length. Once your pen blanks are cut to length, you can then begin the next machining process.